Hello, and welcome to the first devlog for a game I've been wanting to make for a long time. The game is heavily inspired by Space Station 13, but it's not an SS-13 clone or even a multiplayer game. I just really like the immersion of a spaceship that feels real and every single sprite has gameplay value, nothing is just graphics. For now I've only put a weekend into this, but I have some starter graphics which were heavily inspired by SS-13, and I have a player you can move around the screen with basic animation. I've also started a gas system, and I have these standalone canisters and a canister machine that can hold four different canisters. You can see when I change the percent full on the canister or any of the four on the machine, the graphic will actually update, and this is just a sprite placed precisely on the machine. I've also implemented some pixel perfect mouse collision detection, so I can hover over anything in the game and see its name. This works with the gaps in the machine sprite and even reacts to the player's turning and changing sprites. The only thing I still need is support for rotated sprites, but it's good enough for now. If you followed my channel, you can probably guess this is written in Rust using the Bevy game engine. If you're new here and don't know what Bevy is, I recommend checking it out and I've been creating an intro tutorial series for the past 6 weeks. The basic idea is it's an engine based around the most ergonomic entity component system and it gives you high performance by running every system in parallel, while you almost never have to consider the nuances of parallel programming. I guess now that I've shown the entire demo, all I can show off is some of the code, so please forgive me. All of this code will be on a GitHub link in the description, and this whole project will be open source. But be aware this is very messy and it's just me hacking together a demo. The first thing I have is the graphics system, where all graphics are specified by the graphic enum, and then using a bevy change detection system, whenever an entity wants to change its graphic, it just has to update its version of the enum. Graphics are loaded from a ROM file I made, which handles the file path to the sprite sheets and describes each image as its sprite and location. Then the load graphic function loads all of the images from the ROM file, creates the atlas maps, and then gets and saves the details for every sprite into a graphics resource. Next I want to show off how I'm doing component initialization. I have a ROM file in the config folder like this one for the canister machine, and when I create the machine I can use a macro to load the component from the ROM file. Here's the macro. This lets me define parameters for game objects without having to recompile for every change. Finally, I'll talk a little bit about the pixel perfect mouse collision, but that code is a little bit janky. Basically, after the game is loaded, I get every sprite in the graphics map, and then I create a mask wherever there is a transparent pixel. I cache all of these masks into a hash map so the calculation only happens once. Then when I want to test for a collision, I see if the mouse is in the bounding box of a sprite, and if it is, then I check the relative mouse coordinates against the mask to see if a collision has occurred. I haven't done any performance measurements on any of this, so I don't know if doing graphics with hash maps like this is efficient, but I'll figure it out after I do an optimization pass when I have some core systems working. So yeah, that's basically the state of the game. I've been daydreaming about making this for a while, and I finally decided to just get started this weekend. I hope something here was interesting, and if you want to follow this project or see more of Bevy, please remember to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about the code, there's a link to my Discord down below, so feel free to join and ask questions. As always, thank you for watching.